Hey guys, I'm starting to get really excited. We're almost there. It's almost that time of year again. iOS 12 beta one will be showcased at WWDC in just over a month. And it is so exciting. I'm just thinking of all the new features that Apple might be adding or not be adding. I'm also preparing myself to be disappointed, but let me prepare you for iOS 12 with this video. Let's talk about what might be added, the rumored features, what I'd like to see, the compatibility, release dates, all that good stuff. So in one big video, let's talk about iOS was 12 and everything you can expect from the update. Now you'll probably want to curb your enthusiasm as the rumors behind iOS 12 haven't been very exciting necessarily. Yes, there will be changes, there will be upgrades, but the number one thing iOS 12 is rumored to handle and fix is the mess of bugs and glitches and just the instability in iOS in general. Apple has built quite the reputation of being very unreliable lately, just having a ton of these issues with software, and they definitely want to turn that around with iOS 12. So as Mark Gurman reports from Bloomberg, Apple's main priority with iOS 12 is to make it more stable in day-to-day -day usage, fix all of the bugs and crashes, and prioritize that over new features. In fact, they'll be removing a lot of features they had planned for iOS 12 just to focus on the stability of iOS and make it more usable in day-to-day -day life. So definitely a great change, but with all of the resources that Apple has, do they really have to remove features in order to make this possible? I don't understand that part. The next is cross-platform apps. This one will give you the ability to use iPhone apps on the Mac or the iPad, resuming your progress between them. Each one will have a very similar interface that can be used via mouse or touch input. And this is rumored to be one of the biggest features in iOS 12. And of course, in order to make this happen, Apple will have to introduce several applications to Mac OS that are basically iPhone apps on Mac OS. And the first one that's rumored to happen is the home application. So you'll be able to automate several things from your home using that on your computer. And the next rumored feature in iOS iOS 12 is improved augmented reality. So in iOS 11, when Apple introduced this feature, they said that they're going to be focusing on it. A lot of people expected that Apple would add augmented reality features to iOS 11, but really Apple just completely abandoned it. In iOS 11.3, they are making it smarter with ARKit 1.5, but they're not really using it in their own OS version. In iOS 12, it's expected that multiplayer augmented reality will become a thing. So you'll be able to do stuff like this or other games with other users. And in iOS 12, Apple will will be making improvements and emojis. It's expected that all three new iPhones coming later this year will have Face ID and in turn be compatible with this feature. So Apple definitely wants to expand upon it with new and emojis. Already in iOS 11.3, Apple added four more, but in iOS 12, it's expected that there will be even more and emojis. And it's expected that with the improved augmented reality, there will be even more facial expressions you can express via these and emojis. But also it has been rumored that the entire interface where you'll be able to select your and emojis will change as well. So it's a little complicated right now, a little dense. So Apple's going to want to simplify that in the menus of iMessage. Now, personally, I don't use an emojis at all, but this is quite the popular feature. Believe it or not, a lot of people are enticed into the iPhone line just because Apple advertises these so well. But in any case, new an emojis coming to iOS 12. Next up, FaceTime. No, group FaceTime probably won't happen, again, because of the trademark and patent issues. So Apple will instead add FaceTime and emojis. You'll be able to put an emoji mask on your face and actually have an entire call with it on. And a feature we've all just been dying for Apple desperately to change, and that's a redesigned stocks application. Apple's gonna want you to monitor your stocks more carefully with a new interface. And basically this design has been unchanged since the dawn of iPhone. So it's about time that Apple Apple does update this. Meanwhile, the iPad still doesn't have a calculator, weather app, or many others. Very interesting choice on Apple's end. I really hope they finally add that. I just don't understand why it's missing for so long. And a nice convenience feature, do not disturb, is getting an upgrade for iOS 12. Now it'll allow you to automatically reject phone calls with even more parameters. So not just from your favorites or from certain people, there'll be more options for that. And supposedly you'll be able to filter out notifications using a very similar option set. I wouldn't be surprised if there were more attentive features using Face ID as well. So if you're looking at the screen, it'll do certain things. If you're not, it won't. Basically that. Also, Siri is receiving some upgrades. No, she's probably not going to be smaller, but she will be smarter and she'll have deeper search integration. So within your spotlight search or phone search, you'll basically have Siri options in there. And to be completely honest, my opinion of Siri is very low. She could use a lot of work. I almost never even use her just because Alexa 
Alexa is so much smarter and Siri has a lot to learn. So hopefully with iOS 12, Apple makes Siri a lot smarter, not just integrated with search. And parents rejoice. More parental controls are coming to iOS 12. Mark German is calling it a digital health tool where you'll be able to monitor how much time your child is spending on the phone and what they're doing. Basically, Apple is expanding this, the restrictions, and giving more power to the parents. And Apple did release a public statement saying that this feature is coming to a future version of iOS. So next up on the iPad, a small detail. The photos import is getting a redesign. So when you're on the go using the adapter, to import photos into the iPad, there will be a redesigned interface for it, making it easier. Supposedly, Apple originally had a whole revamp for the photos application plan for iOS 12, but that won't be happening. Now, rumor has it that Apple seriously wants to take on Kindle in their own application and focus on that with iBooks. So a revamp is in the works, particularly a new tab called Today in the iBooks application, where the focus will be on a certain featured content and books, much like in the news application, which has a spotlight this will be something just like that, but in the iBooks application. Apple definitely has something cooking in the iBooks application. In iOS 11.3, they removed the true black background for whatever reason, so hopefully that comes back in iOS 12. Next up, emojis. Who doesn't love emojis? Apple's focus on these is unreal. And in iOS 12, it's very likely that Unicode 11.0 will make an appearance with over 150 new emojis. Now, most of these aren't new emojis. About 78 of them are entirely new. Many of them are just different skin shades and as you can see there are now orange haired uh, people in there as well so that's nice emojis are certainly fun i like getting new ones being able to express myself more deeply on my instagram posts with these <laughs> anyways next up an update to emojis is that they might be reversible starting in ios 12 you'll be able to face them both ways by holding down long pressing on the emoji much like you would change the skin tone now you'll be able to reverse them as well on certain types and with every new version of ios a given is new wallpapers they're always so crispy and good looking so i'm really looking forward to seeing apples but also they tend to remove old ones as well which I don't understand. Just keep them, please. Now, it really sucks when you hear about what Apple had planned for iOS 12 that they pushed back to iOS 13, and that included a full redesign. So a redesigned home screen, new icons, stuff like that, basically a revamped interface. And that's what I've been wanting from iOS for the longest time. It seemed like ever since iOS 7, the design has pretty much stayed the same with minor changes here and there, you know, adjustments to new features in new iPhones, but overall the look has remained. Also, there was a redesigned CarPlay interface. I personally don't use CarPlay, so I don't mind about this one, but uh, that would have been nice for the people that did have it. There was an all new photos application, especially for iPads, big focus on that one. And iOS 12 had a huge focus on improving the iPad interface, making it more of a competitor to the Microsoft Surface. So Apple had plans, multiple windows for a single app on the iPad, and a tabbed view. So this would pretty much be like Finder on Mac OS. And in one app, you can split it up into two sections, split screen, but within the same app, so you could do a lot more. That way, there were new Apple Pencil features planned, unknown if this was for the second version, but a lot of changes that aren't gonna be making it to the final version. So it's a shame that iOS 12 will be watered down, so to speak, but if I were to ask Apple to include five features, I would ask them to make the control center easier to access on the iPhone 10 to include the in camera controls for changing your settings, such as resolution or even frames per second, as going to settings just isn't fun every single time I want to change one of those. And I'd like Apple to utilize the organic LED display. They're just not doing much with it right now. They could do so much more. Of course, a dark mode, the dots concept on the lock screen for notifications, stuff like that. The ability to swipe up on apps in the app switcher. And of course, a dark mode is a given. I mean, I don't know how many times we have to ask Apple for that before. We get it. So iOS 12 won't be too feature rich, but it will make your experience so much better. When can we expect to install this goodiness on our device? iOS 12 is expected to follow the typical release schedule. So at the WWDC Worldwide Developers Conference, Apple demos this new software. And then on that day, they drop a beta version of it. The beta, I would not recommend you install it, but if you'd want to, you can install it on June 4th, the day of this event. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that then. But typically I don't recommend you do it just because 
it's unstable. Even though iOS 12 should fix the bugs, it'll have plenty at launch. And I'd like to remind you that typically between the first beta and the actual launch, features get cycled in and out. So things are prone to change just because it's one way on the first beta doesn't mean it'll be like that on the final release. And moving on to device compatibility, Apple is doing something very special with this this year. Supposedly, Apple will be supporting some very old devices on iOS 12 in order to rectify all of their mistakes with iOS 11. Now, while not officially confirmed, my guess is that the devices running iOS 11 right now will also be able to run iOS 12, most of them anyways. This is after news broke that the iPhone 5S would be receiving the iOS 12 upgrade. That's just unprecedented. Most smartphones get dropped after two, three years of support. Apple's record was five, but now the iPhone 5S will have six years of support. That is just crazy. It's unknown if this means the older iPads will stay as well, but that could be likely. So there it is, guys. That is everything we currently know about iOS 12. It's not very rich on the features, but I think it will still be a very monumental upgrade. Like I said, I just want a few things from this upgrade, the dark mode, a notification system using the OLED screen on the iPhone, among other things. So please, Apple, make it happen. I'm really excited for your next software, and I'll definitely be updating you guys on all the videos on this channel once it drops on June 4th. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited, guys. Have a great day. Peace.